What's up guys, welcome to another Electric Skateboard video and today, introduction to DIY Electric Skateboards. I'm Mike Beard, Electric Skateboard Enthusiast. I've made a ton of Electric Skateboards and I actually own my own DIY Electric Skateboard Parts store. And today, I'm gonna give you all the knowledge or at least the tip of the iceberg as far as what you'll need to actually build your own electric skateboard. Um, when you think about building your own electric skateboard, um, you know, the age old debate whether, whether you should buy one or build one, that probably deserves its own video. I 100% am on team build. Um, I built my very first one. Uh, it was such a good experience. But if you don't know anything about it, it might seem kind of intimidating. There are a lot of things you need to get. Um, not as much as you think, and it's not as hard as you think. A lot of people think it's really difficult to do it. It's really not. Um, you just need to know what you need, and today, um, we're gonna get right into that. First thing you'll need is just all of the skateboard stuff, like a, a deck, grip tape, trucks, wheels, bearings, riser pads, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, you need a skateboard. That's all of that stuff. So the most exciting part of electric skateboard to talk about is the motors, how big they are, how fast they go. Um, this is what they look like if you've never seen one before or if you're not familiar with electric skateboard uh, motors. Um, they're cylindrical. They have a silver shaft uh, coming out one end to put a pulley to attach to a belt that will run your wheel eventually. Um, there's three phase wires coming out the back and sometimes, but most of the time, a sensor wire. Um, that's what it looks like. This one's a pretty big one, but pretty standard at the same time. So yeah, that's what that looks like and you will need one of these, which takes me right into motor mounts. You'll need a motor mount. Uh, most motor mounts look like this. You have a clamp and you have the actual mount. Clamps are mostly made for caliber two truck just because of the nature of the shape. They don't slip or slide. They stay right where they're supposed to be. And then you have the mount. This will connect to the clamp and then you connect your motor mount to your motor with a couple screws and then your motor just stays there underneath your board. Um, very simple, but you'll need one of these to connect your motor to your board so I'll need one of these. So once you have your motor mounted on your motor mount, you'll need to capture the, the energy of the moving motor somehow. So usually you do that by slipping a pulley right over the drive shaft and then uh, taking a belt and running that to another pulley that's on your wheel. So this is the M boards ABEX system, uh, pulley system. Basically this thing just connects to your wheel via the screws. You run those through your uh, the spokes in the wheels. This is the the drive hub, this is the retainer cap that goes through here. And then uh, the small pulley goes on your motor pulley. And then you have a belt that runs between both of them. And uh, as your motor spins, it'll cause your wheel to spin. Very straightforward. Um, so you'll need a whole set like this. Um, it comes all together. You get the pulley the, uh, for the wheel, you get the belt, you get the pulley for the motor. Very easy to install and uh, that's everything you need right there. So of course we are talking about electric skateboards and not just regular skateboards. So without a power source, your electric skateboard isn't gonna go very far. So you'll need an electric skateboard battery. You can't just use any old batteries. You need a battery that's rated at high enough uh, amperage and voltage to push a person forward. So uh, in this case, this is the Mboards 10S2P battery. Um, lots of range, very fast, um, awesome battery. But again, can't just use any old batteries. You gotta use something rated at high enough uh, amperage and voltage uh, for this application. So you can't just take your battery and connect it straight to your motor. Uh, you need something in between to control how much power goes from your battery to your motor and for that you'll need an electronic speed controller. In this case, this ESC comes with a remote which is another thing you're going to need. Um, if you choose to get a VESC which is a Vader electronic speed controller, uh, you will need to get a, a remote separately. Um, in this case, this is a very easy plug and play option that has a remote uh, that comes with it. Um, so that both of those categories are, 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 uh, are good with just this one ESC. Um, so yeah, ESC and remote. So that's basically it. Like I said, you need a battery, which will lead right into your ESC, which is like the brain of your board. Um, that will automatically connect with your remote. Uh, when you use your remote, it'll control how much power goes through the ESC to your motor. And from the motor is mounted onto your board via the motor mount. The motor is also connected to the pulley, which goes through the belt into your pulley system, which controls your wheels. So, all that kind of just connects together. Hopefully that's making sense. If not, drop me a question in the comments below and I answer everything I have. Um, but anyways, all those parts that I just uh, said, all of those products are in the description below. All of them work very well together and if you're new to electric skateboards, a very solid kit right there. Again, follow Mboards on all of our social media, uh, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's all in the description. Hit the subscribe button if you're into the electric skateboard thing, which if you made it this far, you must be. Um, yeah. So anyways, I will, uh, I'll see you in the next one.